Hello comic book fans, my name is David. Today I'm going to be reviewing X-Men issue number 28, ran by Victor Glishner and Will Comrade. Now this is my first time buying an X-Men title in quite a while, and let me say I'm a little disappointed in this one in particular. Uh, this is the story of Pixie, and Pixie's basically the main person in this whole entire story. She has been taken hostage, and the scrolls are out to go and get some stuff so they can get off the planet. I guess in the whole Marvel Universe they split the scrolls um, technology throughout the place and the scrolls need to get into the Baxter building to get technology so they can get their get into their spaceship and go off in outer space and go back home. And I gotta say this book is a little boring to me. I mean I'm reading I'm reading it, reading about the scrolls and how the scrolls just want to go home. Now there's one who's just like, hey, you guys are all cowards because you guys ran away from the whole scroll battle that happened. And there's nothing interesting here. I mean, it's cool to see that the scrolls want to go home, but it's just done in a way that's just boring and just the dialogue and everything like that. There's even a point in there where the uh, the evil scroll, the scroll that once that was a you know a scroll, and he's just like to the other scrolls, he's like, you guys are all cowards, you guys all ran away. Now go tell your sob story to Pixie, so she will better understand us. I mean, the dialogue I think is boring. Everything, I would, I'm not gonna go pick up issue 20, 29 after this one. It just doesn't capture me at all. I I like the X Men. I like you know everything like the cartoons and everything. But I'm hoping all the other X Men titles are better because I'm gonna be picking them all up this month just to test them out. And but X Men issue number 28, I would not bother. You know, 3.99 for not good at you know not, not what I like. You know, I would like some more action in there. There's hardly any action, and it's just not not for me I mean it may be for a lot of people if you're a big X-Men fan but for me I, I would just have to say pass on this one it's not a bad comic it's not a good comic it's just a comic that's in between and that I would wait till it's cheaper on Comicology or at your local comic book shop just wait until it's cheaper I mean it definitely will be there coming up so my name is David. If you like these reviews, please subscribe, and I'll be putting out a lot more throughout the week. And thank you for watching.